Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome, teacher. Good it's a pleasure. Good evening, Juan Ponzo. It's a pleasure. Thank you. How are you today? Is it raining in your house? Is yes. Rain? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Rain. The problem sometimes is that uh, the internet is bad, right? When when it's sí. raining, uh huh. Sí, of course. Of course. That's the problem. In my house, for example, when it's raining, my internet is like okay. Okay. Not working well. Yes. My speed internet is mm -hmm. ten mega. Ten megas. Ah, okay. I have thirty megas. Wow. But even though I have problems, you know. Okay. Yes. yes. So, sometimes it's, it's it's the rain, right? Or sometimes it's the company that you can have you can have fifty mega, but sometimes the company is not working well. Yes. Hey, Victor. Hello. How are you? Victor, hello, can you hear me? Hello, teacher, good evening. Well, good evening, welcome, right? Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. So we have more people here, Rolando, Luis, welcome. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today, Rolando? Better? So, so, okay, don't worry. Don't speak, don't speak, don't worry. Just listen, right? Only listen, Rolando, okay? No problem. I understand. Don't worry. Yes. Teacher. Don't speak. Don't speak. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> okay. Relax. Don't worry. Thank you. Okay. Hello, Alicia. Welcome. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> All we're ready, eh? Congratulations, Alicia. You're an excellent student, eh? Congratulations. Yes. Thanks. Okay, good. And Luis Carranza, how are you, Luis? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to listen to you. Okay, so let's begin, right? Today, as you know, we have the midterm test, examine the medio curso, right? So we are going to go and I will explain. This time, no answers, right? No answers, just... I will give you instructions and, and you're going to make it by yourself. Lo van a hacer ustedes solito, right? Okay, after the class or, or the later tomorrow. I recommend tomorrow, right? If you can tonight, better, right? Si pueden terminarlo esta noche, perfect. Because uh, the midterm test marks the, the middle of the, of the course, right? Marca la mitad del curso, así que tenemos que terminar todo hasta aquí, ¿ok? Good. Welcome, Alejandro, and welcome, Jose. Now, let's begin, right? Let's begin. Uh, hello, hello. Ok. I'm going to share the, the test in this moment. Let me check. Give me a second here. Okay. Let me see. I'm opening, opening, opening. Here, right? Midterm test. Okay, let's start with letter A. Listening. Listening, right? Okay, now, listen, please. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. So we have one conversation, and in the conversation, people are talking about Mark and some information about a party, right? Let's go to the question. Number one, Mark is going to be 13, 30, or 33. Listen the difference. Listen to the difference. Okay. 
Let me see. 13. Thirty-three and thirty-three. Thirty and thirty-three. Listen to the pronunciation, please. Thirteen. The first one, thirteen. The second one is thirty. Thirty. Okay, and the third one is 33, 33. Again, 13, 30, 33. Okay, now, let's continue. Let's continue now. Uh, so Mark is going to be 13, 30 and 33. Next one, they're going to have a party on what day? Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? Number three, they're going to, three options here, dance, dance, right? Sing songs, or watch TV, right? Three activities, what is the activity? So I will play it twice, two times, right? One. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Two. So, what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Three. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD, and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. One. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Two. No se escucha, Lix. Lix, teacher. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, I, I was telling you that in a paper, you can copy the answers. They are not necessary, they absolutely and completely answer, right? But you have an idea and what is the answer, right? Later, when you go to the test, you, you have a better option, right? And, and of course, uh, today, well, I'm not going to give the answers of the test, right? No le voy a dar las respuestas. You have to do it by yourself. But I will explain and give you some hints. You know, hints is like uh, ideas, pistas, right? So you can, you can work by your own. You can work only you, only you, right? Okay, so in a paper copy, letter A, letter B, letter C, letter D, and letter E. So we have five parts, right? A, B, C, D, E. Five parts. The first one, letter A, is... Uh, listen, right? Okay, let's continue, please. This, this is the first part. Now, let's go to the second, right? They're going to have a party on. Uh, 
So what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Three. Okay, so three options, right? What is the correct one? You're going to decide. And the last one, they're going to have what? A dancing song, so watch television. Listen, please. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh. Sorry. I don't know what happened. Sorry, sorry. Give me a second. Uh -huh. I don't know what happened here. Okay, part number three, right? E. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD, and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. Okay, so we have the three, three conversations, right? So you're going to take your best decision. Any question you have? Any question? No, teacher. Continue. No? You want to listen again? No, that's okay. That's okay. Claudia, Alicia, it's okay? Okay, so... Remember that if you have problems, you can listen and listen and listen, right? Anytime. Now, let's go to letter B. Match the questions with the answers, right? So in this case, uh, we are going to review the use of uh, be going to, right? Be going to. Now, for be going to, let's review the use of the verb to be, right? Just one second here. Okay, the verb to be, right? Um, are and is. Now, we use some for what pronoun? What pronoun? I, you, he, she, it, they. What is the pronoun we use for I? What is the pronoun? I repeat. I, you, we, he, she, it, they. For am um, is uh -huh. I. I, right. Thank you very much. I. Good. Now, for R, we use what pronouns, class? You. Okay, me? <laughs> okay, you. Thank you. You. They. they and. We. We. Thank you very much. And for is, we use. She, he, it. She, he, and it, right? Okay, but listen to me. When I use names, common names or proper names or com common nouns or proper nouns, I can also use uh, R or is, right? No, um, but at least um, R and is. For example, when I say mm, my friends, With my friends, I use 
are, my friends are in El Salvador, for example, right? My friends uh, also, let me see. Okay, also you can use uh, I and you, right? Or you and I. Sorry, better you and I, right? El burro por delante, we say, right? You and I. So in this case, you and I. Give me a second here. You and I also, we say are. You don't say you and I am. No, we say you and I are, right? Also, we have other options. We have the students, the cars. Huh? So when something is plural, we also say they, I mean are, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. And with is, we can also say, for example, uh, uh, let's say Luis, for example, right? Luis, uh, a common noun, the student, um, my family, my family, you say my family is, you don't say my family are. I know there are a lot of members in the family, but you say my family is, right? And also, Virulais, Virulais is, right? Also, um, what else? The car or the house, the house is, right? Because it's an object. Huh? So we use pronouns, common nouns and proper nouns, right? So it's absolutely necessary you understand this, okay? Alguna pregunta sobre este punto? Any question? Yes, because sometimes, you know, algunas veces cuando ponemos the students, or when I say eh, mi papá, my father, right? Okay, eh, sometimes we have problems. We say, bueno, aquí es R o es is. Uh. So it's necessary to understand. For example, when you use R in, in nouns, it's plural. And when you use is in, in nouns, it's singular, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so no questions? Can I continue? Okay, good. Now, another situation is when you make questions. When you make questions, the answer could be, for example, a uh, are you a student? And then the answer is, yes, you are a student. Okay, I have a message. Um, okay, good. It's a message of, of Monica. She's coming to the club, right? Just to incorporate uh, Monica. Okay, now. Yes, you are a student. Is that correct, class? Let's say, Victor, what do you think? Are you a student? Yes, you are. Is no. that correct, Victor? No, no, right? Because in the question I say you, in the answer I say, yes, I, I am, right? Yes, I am a student. Okay, according to the question, then we answer. Another example is, are they in class? No, they are not, right? So in this case, because we're talking in third person plural, tercera persona plural, so we say, are they? Yes, they are or no, they are not, right? When we, for example, are we in San Salvador, for example?
And then the answer is, yes, we are, right? Now, another more difficult part, right? Is Pedro in Santa Ana? Because Pedro is a man, we say, no, he isn't, right? He isn't in Santa Ana. Oh, no, he's not, right? So it's necessary you understand that when I make a question with you, the answer is I, right? Or the opposite, when the question is with I, the answer is you. With they, they, with we, we, with uh, Pedro, Juan, Antonio, is he, with Maria, uh, Petronila, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? The answer is she, okay? Or when I use a, a, a noun, for example, let's say, is the car in the garage? Yes, it is in the garage, right? So when I say the car, the pronoun I'm going to use is it, okay? Now, the same happened when I use be going to, right? For the future, that is in the test. Are you going to play football, for example? And then the answer must be, yes, I am. No is, yes, I play. Or, yes, I going. No is, yes, I am. We are going to use the verb to be when we answer be going to questions, right? Okay, now. Are Juan and Noemi going to make the test? Okay, uh, Noemi, what is the answer here, Noemi? Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Yes, we are. Yes, they are. What is the answer, Noemi? Yes, we are. Oh, well, I'm sorry. In the case, because you are Noemi, right? But imagine Noemi is other Noemi, right? It's otra Noemi. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay teacher. Uh -huh. Are Juan and Noemi going to make the test? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta entonces, Noemi? Ajá. Yes, we are. Yes, they are, right? They, they are. They are. Es que no tenía que haberle preguntado porque usted llama Noemi, ¿verdad? Pero... <risa> okay. ok, yes, they are. Yes, they... Es otra, Noemi, es una prima tuya. Ok, yes, they are. Because Juan and Noemi are, are people, right? But what about if I say, are Juan and I going to make the test? Uh, Alfonso, Juan Alfonso? What could be the answer here? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Are Juan and I is Yes, he is. Yes, they are. Yes, I am. What is the answer? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Correct, right? Yes, we are. It's, no, are my parents going to eat chicken, for example? What is the answer? Uh, let me see, Josue? Yes or no, right? Whatever. Are my parents going to eat chicken? Sure, excuse me. Yes, yes. 
I no look in the question. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. Por ahí? No. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to erase this. Vamos a borrar esto entonces. Okay. Sorry, give me a second. No sé qué pasó aquí. Okay, vamos a hacerlo en la, en la otra. Yes. Are my parents going to eat chicken? Yes. Hoy sí, hoy sí, eh, lo alcanza a ver. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Now, Jose, excuse me. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Oh, no, they aren't, right? Yes. They are. Oh, no, they aren't, right? Yes, they are. Oh, no, they aren't. Good. So, this is the way we answer the the questions now oopsie let me see what happened sorry 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 okay now here compartir okay good thank you thank you now and now we answer the questions are we going to work this weekend? Then the options are, yes, I am. No, it's not. No, we're not. Yes, they are. Yes, he is. Or no, they aren't, right? Now you choose the correct answer. But remember the question is, are we? Are we, right? Number two, are they? Yes, I am. No, it's not. No, we're not. Yes, they are. Yes, he is. No, they aren't. Are they? Are they, right? Remember, according to the subject, that is the answer, right? Number three, are you? Are you going to exercise? Yes, I am. I'm going to go swimming. No, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. No, we're not. We're going to, we're going to relax. Yes, they are. They're going to make pasta. Yes, he is. He's going to visit his barn. Oh, no, they aren't, right? So remember, are you? Are you? Number four is Bill. Bill is a woman or it's a man? Huh? Oh, Bill is singular or Bill is plural. According to this, you're going to answer. Yes, I am. No, it's not. No, we're not. Yes, they are. Yes, he is. Oh no, they aren't. Are Pam and Andrew, look, Pam and Andrew. Remember the example, Luis, Luis, right? And Noemi, right? Uh, the same example here, right? Yes, I am. No, it's not. No, we're not. Yes, they are. Yes, he is. Oh no, they aren't. And number six. Is it, it going to rain tomorrow? Yes, I am. No, it's not. No, we're not. Yes, they are. Yes, he is. No, they aren't. So you choose your correct answer, right? Now, do you have questions about the, the part B of the test? Questions, questions? Okay. Now, uh, sorry for the question, right? Eh, me parece que tenemos una luna nueva. No sé si hemos confundido aquí, pero vamos a ver. Giselle play test. Welcome to the class, Giselle. Hello, teacher. Hello. Eh, ahora está con nosotros, ¿verdad, Giselle? No me gusta. Casi no le escucho, le escucho bien al fondo. Eh, ahorita, bien a lo, a lo... ahorita. Eh, esta es la primera clase que está con nosotros, ¿verdad, Giselle? 
No, creo que es la segunda. Segunda, ok. Muy bien, nos alegra tenerla nuevamente, pues. Es que no la había notado. No la había notado, ah. pero ya, ya la tenemos aquí en la lista, ok. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Estamos ya este, a, a mitad del curso, porque estamos haciendo el midterm, right? el, el examen de medio curso. Ok. Now, let's continue. Let's continue. Letter B, now let's go to letter C. Select the WH question. Select the WH question. Let me see. Here, uh, I'm going to explain the use of what, let me see. The use of what where when how who let me see what where when only that right those are the most important right Okay, what is used for things, cosa, right? Abstract and concrete, right? Where is used in places? Places. Where, right? When is used in time? Time, right? And how is used in manner, manera? Talk about uh, size, qué tamaño, qué forma, qué lugar. Eh, no, quiero decir más bien, o cómo hacer algo, ¿ok? No qué lugar, no, perdón, qué lugar no. Sería eh, cómo hacer algo, right? Okay. So that is how. And who refers exclusive about people, right? People, who? It could be singular, it could be plural, right? But it's people. Don't forget that. Okay, do you have questions about the question words? Todavía alguna preguntita sobre el uso del question words? Questions? Okay. I have a question, teacher. No questions? Ah, you have a question. Yes, I have. Yes, tell me, tell me. Cuando... La pregunta es, ¿cuándo utilizamos el with al final de la pregunta? El will. With. With. Ah, W-H. Okay, I understand. Yes, I understand. Yes, I understand. Sorry. Uh, with, right? Yes. Uh, in this case, when we're talking about people, or when we're talking about objects, right? Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if I say, I will go with my, let me see, let me think in one question. Uh, uh, where is he going to go with? No, wait, give me a second. I'm, I'm, I need to, to think in one example. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. Who are you going to? Yes, yes. Uh, what is he going to take to the to the vacation? No, no, no. Only people. Yes, yes. Only people. So, so, so I will going. give you the example. Give, give me a second. I will give you the example. Okay. Who are you going to go with? Okay. Uh huh. Who are you going to go with? Uh, in this case, means con quién va a ir, right? Hmm? Only when I use who. Who? Yes. And listen to me. The question is, is the correct question is this. With who are you going to go? With who are you going to go? Pero la costumbre es poner la preposición al final. Right? Uh -huh. Who are you going to go with? Si es que estaba pensando si se puede usar con objetos, pero no, no se me ocurre ni un ejemplo. 
del uso del quid, al menos hasta donde, donde yo sé. ¿Ok? Sí, sí, sí. Al menos en los, ejercicios, en los ejercicios no aparece con objetos. Yo le, yo le pregunto porque en varias películas, series y todo eso, eh, hay, hay varias preguntas que la hacen con el WIT al final. Correcto, sí. Déjeme investigar después de la clase. Ok, eh, pero eso, eso es como más, ¿cómo le puedo decir? Es un lenguaje más entre amigos, coloquial, por ejemplo. Más ajá. coloquial, ajá, ¿no? No es lenguaje de libro, sino que es más lenguaje de coloquial, más, más, ¿verdad? Pero sí, es bien común, es bien común. Uh, pero de momento quedemos así, solo con personas y al final, ¿right? Ok. okay. Si hay thank alguna you, excepción o algo, yo le explico en el grupo, ¿verdad? Ok, pero, thank you. Regáleme su nombre, que aquí no lo ubico. Luis Carranza. Luis, ok, thank you, Luis. Vamos a Ok, teacher, thank you. With. Reposition with. Ok, por aquí lo anotamos, Luis. Ok, pero de momento nos quedamos así. Cuando usamos con, con uh, who, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer un ejemplo para que nos quede claro. Who, who are they going to go with, right? Who are they going to go with? This is one example, right? Okay? Yes, yes, yes. Good. Thank you for the question, Luis. Now, another question? No more? La traducción de eso, teacher, sería... Sería eh, con quién. ¿Quién es irá? Ah, con quién es irás. ¿Quién van a ir ellos? Ah, okay. ¿Con quién van a ir ellos? O podríamos decir, who are you? ¿Con quién irás tú? ¿Con quién irás tú? Who are you going to go with? ¿Con quién irás tú? O who is she going to go with? ¿Con quién irá ella? También está otro. Le voy a aumentar un poquito ya que lo mencionó. Where, where is she going to go to? Esto también se puede. La preposición to al final, cuando usamos go. ¿Ok? Y hay otro ejemplo también, de otra preposición, pero ahorita no, me lo, no lo tengo en mente, Luis. Pero este de la, prepos de la preposición to... Uh -huh. Hace referencia solo al lugar. ¿Hacia dónde vas? Ah, ¿Hacia okay. dónde va ella? Right? Se puede las dos formas, sin la preposición y con la preposición. ¿Ya? Por ahí le voy a investigar otra preposición que se puede utilizar al final. Ok, okay thank you, teacher. Yeah, yes, yes. El, el tema es un poco amplio y, y muy interesante, Luis. <laughs> okay. Sí, sí, sí. But let's go, let's go to, the, to the exam. Let me see. Uh, okay, now. W is word, right? Number letter A, right? Uh, the question, you're going to copy the question, right? Next summer, we're going to go to Alaska. Alaska, right? Now, Alaska is a person, is a place, it's time, or it's manner. How? It's what? No, don't answer. Yes. No me van a contestar. Porque es el examen para todos. Okay. Uh, it's a question. It's what? It's when? It's where? It's how? Huh? What is the correct, right? When you talk about Alaska. Now, Alaska, wow. We're going to take a boat. Okay, aquí estamos explicando cómo vamos a hacer para irnos, right? So this is what, where, how, o who. ¿Mm? Cuando explicamos cómo vamos a hacer para irnos, right? Okay. 
¿Cómo vamos a hacer para ir? Where, who, when, or how? What is the correct one, right? Okay, now let's continue. That's so exciting. I'm going to go with my family. Esta te va de más aquí. Who, aquí podemos hacer la pregunta, mire, Luis. Who are you going to go with? ¿Ah? Who are, pero no es la respuesta, no le estoy dando la respuesta. Ups, oh, okay. no, algo, hay algo parecido ahí, me adelanté, perdón. <risa> perdón. Eh, no escucharon nada, no he dicho nada, ¿eh? <risa> pero sí, por ahí está un ejemplo, Luis, no le voy a decir cuál, ¿verdad? Pero por ahí está el ejemplo. <risa> si le digo, le voy a dar la respuesta, así que mejor me quedo callado. Ok, so, I'm going to go with my family. So, in this case, is how, where, when, or what? Okay, let's continue. We are going to go on June 21st. June 21st. So what is June 21st? It's a place, it's time, it's a person or it's manner. Huh? So who, where, when, or how? Okay, that is part B, right? Part C, I'm sorry. Any question? Okay, let's continue. Now for letter D, for letter D, we have completed conversation, right? Select the word. Ah, we're talking about a health problem, right? Health problem. For this, we're going to review one video. We're going to review one video. Let me see, it's 2.3. This is the video we're going to watch. And with this information, you're going to review. You can copy 2.3, 2.3, right? Está en la sección 2, el punto 3. Si lo quieren repasar en casita. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express different illnesses. But actually, why? But maybe I can help. Examples on this chart. Huh. Examples. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? What's the matter and what's wrong, right? In this case, you're asking, ¿Qué pasa? ¿Cuál es el problema? And then... I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Okay, so in this case, when someone tells you what is wrong, what is the problem, you say, I have a headache. I have this. I have that. Okay? Or it could be, what is the matter with she? She has a headache. He has a... But you say, I have, you have, they have, etc. And a problem, right? But when you say, feel, you say, I feel homesick. I feel better. I, I don't feel well, right? And then we have the negative adjective, sick, awful, terrible, miserable. Negative. Positive adjective, fine, great, terrific, and fantastic. Okay. Now, let's continue with, with the test, right? Okay. Let's come back to the test. Test here, right? Okay. Letter, letter D, right? Yes. D. Okay. Letter D. Now let's go and say, right? Uh, I, I feel, I get, or I have. 
I feel, I get, or I have. And then the complement is a headache, right? Now, for the solution, drink these pills, eat these pills, or take these pills. One of the options, right? Then conversation two, what's the matter? How's the matter? Or why is the matter? What's the matter? How's the matter? Or why is the matter, right? Si pusimos atención al video, ya la hicimos. Now, I don't feel, I don't feel better, well, or sick. I have a stomachache. I have a stomachache. I don't feel better. I don't feel well. Or I don't feel sick. I have a stomachache, right? Si aún no estás seguro, pueden repasar el video, el 2.13, right? Now, do you feel today? What do you feel today? How do you feel today? Or why do you feel today? Hmm? Okay, and then not so good. I, I have sore eyes, oh, dolorido, right? Sore eyes. I feel sore eyes, or I am sore eyes. Conversation four. I have a headache, no, sorry, backache. Don't exercise. Okay, si tengo un dolor de espalda, don't exercise. Don't rest, in negative, right? Or don't relax. What is the correct option? Eh? Good. Any question? Any question? No, teacher. No, okie dokie. Thank you, now? Let's go to the last part, right? Read the article. Instructions. Read the article, then select the correct home remedy for each condition. Okay? The correct home remedy. Remedio correcto, right? For each condition. Now, let's go to home remedies. Remedios caseros de las abuelitas, right? Okay. Now... I will read and you help me reading, right? Home remedies. Do home remedies really work? Many people say yes. Try these home remedies, please. Okay, now let me see if it's going to help me reading. Uh, Monica, can you read, please? Podría ayudarme con la lectura, lo que acabo de leer, Monica. Hello? Okay, todavía creo que va manejando, Mónica. Now, uh, Cindy, please. Can you help me, Cindy? Yes. Okay, read, please. Va a leer lo mismo que yo leí. Come on. Home? Um, eso no sé cómo pronunciar. Remedies. Remedies. Okay, continue. Home remedies. Do home remedies really work? Many people say yes. Try the simple home remedies. Okay, thank you, thank you, Cindy. Now, listen, please, listen, listen. A cold. What can you do for a cold? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Sopa de pollo eh, caliente, right? Other people drink hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon, lemon juice, sorry, and milk. Okay? Now, uh, Eric. Eric, can you read? Can you read this part? A call, please, Eric. Lo mismo que acabo de leer, Eric. Can you read for me, please, again? Hello? Eric? Okay, creo que tiene problemas con el audio también, Eric, right? Now, Carolina, please help me, Carolina. 
A cold. What can you do for a cold? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Other people drink hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and meat. Carolina, good pronunciation. Congratulations. Now listen, uh, por aquí tengo un mensaje, creo que. Uh, ah, sí, el, el, el micrófono no le está trabajando, Eric. No problem, if you can only pay attention. Thank you, thank you. And thank you, Carolina. Now, uh, Alejandro, well, you're going to help me. After me, right? Después que yo lea, Alejandro, ready. Now, a cough. Do you have a bad cough? Drink warm tea or take some honey. This can make your throat feel better. Okay, Alejandro, read, please. Okay, teacher. A cough. Do you have a bad cough? Drink warm tea or take some honey. This can make your throat feel better. Thank you. Good reading. Congratulations, Alejandro. Okay, I had it. In this case, let me see, Josue. You are going to tell me, Josue, pay attention. A headache. What about a headache? Put a cold cloth, un trapo eh, helado, right? On your head. Or splash your face with cold water. Splash is like echarse agua, right? Tirarse agua. Uh, you can also put your hands in hot water. Okay? No esté tan caliente porque no va a quemar las manos, right? Okay? You can also put your hands in hot water, right? This can help. Now, please. Josué, read, please. Okay. I have to. What about I have to? Put a cold cloth on your head or splash your face with cold water. You can also put your hands in hot water. This can help. Thank you very much, Josué. Thank you. Thank you for your reading. The headache, right? So what is the solution? The home remedy for headache. Now, uh, Juan Alfonso, Juan Alfonso, you're next, right? Insomnia. Can't sleep at night? Drink a large glass of warm milk. Or take a very warm bath, right? Un baño caliente. Mm -hmm. Okay, Juan Alfonso? Insomnia. Can't sleep at night? Drink a large glass of warm milk. Or take a very warm but okay very good now with this information we go to the questions and say for a cold what can you do for a cold it's simple right you go to the reading and read a cold what can you do for a cold many people etc etc so you read what is for a cold and then you can drink warm tea or take some honey put a cold cloth on your head some people eat hot chicken soup Drink a large glass of warm milk or take a warm bath. What is the solution? Eh? Here and here, right? For a cough. <laughs> For a cough, right? You can drink warm tea, put a cold cloth, eat hot chicken soup, or drink a large glass of warm milk, right? So you go again and read what is the solution for a cough. After that, you go and answer, right? For a headache. For a headache, what is the solution? Four options. And then you go again for the headache. Easy, right? Easy. And finally, for insomnia, you can drink warm tea, put a cloth, some people eat hot, drink a large glass. So again, you go for the insomnia. I'm sorry, people, but for any of this problem, para ninguno de estos problemas, the beer is necessary. No es necesario tomar cerveza, así que por favor, the beer is not a solution. Eh? Okay, we have other solutions. Eh? Good. Any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre el vocabulario? No? No, teacher. No, okay, so you're ready for the test. Now let me tell you this, right? Antes que terminemos. Eh, 
me están pidiendo, ¿verdad? Y yo les pido a ustedes de favor que tenemos que terminar la sección 1, 2 y 3. ¿Ok? A más tardar mañana o el fin de semana, ¿verdad? O a más tarde. ¿verdad? Eh, se supone que ya tendría que estar todo listo, ¿verdad? Pero siempre hay algún ejercicio que nos cuesta o alguna parte que nos cuesta. Entonces, eh, estos minutitos yo quisiera que ustedes me dijeran en las tres secciones, si hay algún ejercicio que a ustedes les cuesta todavía o que no han hecho, ¿verdad? No tengan pena decir lo que no lo han hecho, eso no es problema. Lo importante es que lo hagamos, ¿verdad? Para sea ahora en la noche o mañana, ¿verdad? Eh, de las tres secciones, ¿hay alguna parte, algún ejercicio que ustedes hayan tenido algún inconveniente que quisieran que repasaran, por ejemplo, el... el el futuro con el be going to. Y ahí tenemos un laboratorio. Tenemos también eh, WH Questions. ¿Hay algún punto acá en que ustedes todavía digan, hey, esa parte me cuesta todavía? Parts of the body. Lo que acabamos de ver, ¿verdad? La high how. ¿Ok? And I don't feel well, etcétera, etcétera. Eh, los imperativos también. Esas son las partes que hemos visto. Y esta semana pues estuvimos con, hablando de lugares, ¿verdad? Places and things. Eh, preposition of place. Eh, directions and conversation. Is it far from here? Is it... Ok. ¿Hay alguna pregunta de esta parte? ¿No? Todavía tenemos tiempo, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces vamos a usar, eh, vamos a terminar con la descripción de este, de este ejercicio que nos costó un poquito ayer, ¿verdad? Vamos a... No, no es este, es este. 3.9, right? Ok. Solo, solo, solo una pregunta. Eh, yo entré un poquito tarde. ¿Cuánto tiempo vamos a tener para realizar el examen o, o hasta qué el plazo? Mire, este, en teoría, ustedes pueden, este, hasta el último día de clase, se supone, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, pueden hacerlo, pero pues sí, no es nada conveniente porque eh, vamos, eh, son 16 clases, ya llevamos 8 con esta. Vamos a la mitad. Entonces, si usted de, dice, bueno, hay tiempo, bueno, van a cerrar la plataforma, no la van a cerrar, ¿verdad? Pero eh, nos atrasaríamos. Entonces, para que todos vayamos bien, este, pongámonos de meta este fin de semana, me parece, los que no lo han terminado. Eh, okay. En teoría ya debería estar, ¿verdad? Pero este, yo sé que muchos trabajan. Este, y a veces tenemos problemas con eso. Entonces, de preferencia le digo, pongámonos de tiempo mañana o el fin de semana. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Aquí los últimos minutitos. Vamos Let's a repasar los de las direcciones. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Okay. Just giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? How do I get to Rockefeller Center, right? Estamos acá en el Empire State Building. Okay. Y habíamos dicho que hay dos formas de explicar direcciones, right? Two ways. Locations and... Uh, Directions. Cuando yo digo, eh, where is the Empire State? Uh, it's next to, it's across, it's between, ok, it's behind. Pero no digo cómo llegar ahí. Pero ahora, si yo quiero saber cómo llegar, no solo quiero saber cómo, dónde está el lugar, sino que quiero saber cómo llegar, utilizamos este voc vocabulario. Walk, go, turn, cruzar, right? Uh, right. Left, 
etc., etc. Now, in this case, listen this, Rockefeller sent uh, Empire's Tale to Rockefeller sent. Listen. Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. Okay. Go up Fifth Avenue. Nos vamos aquí, ir, irnos hacia arriba por la, por la quinta, right? Por la quinta avenida. Llegamos acá y cruzamos a la izquierda, right? En la 49, aquí. Cruzamos hacia la izquierda, right? Y seguimos aquí, seguimos, seguimos y está en el lado derecho. Estos edificios que están aquí están al lado de derecho, on the right. Ahora regresamos como ir al Bryant Park. Listen. Vamos a salir del Rockefeller Center, ¿ok? How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. Ok, entonces nos vamos a ir desde, desde el Rockefeller Center hacia abajo de la quinta y vamos a cruzar a la derecha. Ok, vean el mapa on the right. Turn right. De ahí nos vamos. En la 42, no en los microbuses, pero es en la calle 42 de New York. Y llegamos hasta el Brain Park. ¿Y dónde está el Brain Park? Si estamos acá, el Brain Park está a la izquierda, ¿verdad? on the left. ¿Ok? Good. Eh, si quieren, vamos a hacer unos ejercicios, pero sería hasta la otra semana. Para que quede bien claro esto. Y yo les voy a preguntar a ustedes. ¿Me parece? ¿Ok? ¿Any extra question? ¿Alguna pregunta antes de terminar? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, Alejandro, please. Eh, eh, y el examen es similar a los laboratorios anteriores. Digamos que las respuestas, o es una sola respuesta. Mire, yo ya lo revisé y, y es un poco diferente, ¿verdad? Los laboratorios son como, obviamente, más cortos, ¿verdad? Este, no, es lo que llamamos, no, el, el Alejandro, el knowledge Check. El check Ajá, era el conocimiento que usted tiene. No le es conocimiento, ¿verdad? Entonces, yes. son bien cortitos, ¿verdad? Pero sí están relacionados. No, en, las eh, tres Ajá, en las tres secciones que hemos visto, por ejemplo, eh, uh, How do you feel? Por ejemplo, cuando estamos hablando de, de enfermedades y de medicina, pues la respuesta es, la, el no le check es basado en eso, ¿sí? Pero el, el examen que acabamos de explicar cómo hacerlo, Resume las tres secciones anteriores. ¿Ok? Ok. Es más extenso. Eh, pero. Sí, dígame, dígame. Eh, quizás la pregunta es como poder volver a hacer la, las respuestas. Ah, sí, sí, se puede. Se puede hacer nuevamente. Eh, la plataforma oh, okay. les da a ustedes para hacerlo varias veces. ¿Sí? Pueden oh, okay. ir. Puede regresar ahorita o si quiere inclusive hacer... El examen de la sección 5, hágalo. O sea, la, la plataforma es libre para ir donde ustedes quieran, ¿verdad? Y yo estoy aquí para cualquier pregunta que ustedes tengan, ¿sí? En la clase, en el grupo, y si usted, o si usted le da pena, yo, me da pena que me vean en el grupo, pues manden un mensaje okay. para hablar, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero yo estoy ahí para explicarle. Entonces, eh, las clases son para explicarles a ustedes cómo resolver la plataforma, ¿sí? ¿Ok? Y en las clases he ido yo explicando cómo ir haciendo, haciendo esos yes, laboratorios. Pero ahora pues ya estamos con el examen, ¿verdad? Que es más, más amplio, ¿sí? Entonces usted puede regresar, no hay problema. Puede regresar a la sección 1 y no ha hecho el, el no le check número 3. Si no lo, puede regresar y hacerlo, no hay problema. Pero tiene que ser okay, ya, okay. pronto, porque si no nos vamos a retrasar porque son cinco secciones, ¿verdad? ¿Ok, Alejandro? No, sí, la de los tres ya lo terminé. Ah, excelente. Congratulations, ok. Congratulations. Ok, thank you very much. Eh, see you on Monday. Nos vemos el lunes para los, uh, iniciar la segunda parte. Okay. Goodbye. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.